All right, YouTube, so we got to talk about Joe Biden's red eye, blood in the eye debacle because everybody is talking about it, at least everybody on the right. And even though it is not a significant health concern, but it is not one that we should ignore. You see, what had happened was, was that Joe Biden was at a, a climate change town hall. And if you look closely, I mean, you can find it all over the web. I'm not going to show it here because it's, it's, it's grotesque, or, or at least to me. Anything, like I have a huge phobia when it comes to eyeballs. I can go to best score and, you know, have no problems. But if you show me people's eyeballs and crap like that, I freak out. I'm not, I'm not into that. No, thank you. But anyway, Joe Biden was at a... a uh, t climate change town hall and he was talking about uh, obviously climate change and if you could look closely you could see that his left eye it had been you know bleeding not not you know crying blood but you you can tell like blood vessels within the eyeball had bursted and it, 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 it looks grotesque to me now again like i said it's not a significant health problem but it is one that we should not ignore and joe biden of course who's 76 years old has been already showing symptoms and signs of early on stage dementia and Alzheimer's. So much so that even the left leaning Washington Post and HuffPost and all these other ones have actually brought it up in discussion. So Joe Biden's health is a huge red flag coming into 2020. And, 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 and if he's going to be strong enough to weather the campaign trail, whether Trump's digs at him, and basically go through into the general election. I don't think he can. If it is true that his gaffes and his mishaps on the, the, the campaign and him messing up details of Afghanistan and him saying crazy shit, if this is a sign and truly a symptom of, of early on stage dementia and our Alzheimer's within the next 15 to 14 months, when actually the general election takes place, is Joe Biden going to be well enough? No, he's going to get even worse. So if not Joe Biden, who's going to go against Trump in 2020, it's most likely going to be Elizabeth Warren. Because a DNC would have to be bonkers to nominate Bernie Sanders. They would have to understand that if they uh, uh, nominate someone like a Bernie Sanders, a self-proclaimed uh, uh, socialist, they, they would completely lose the Rust Belt. There goes Michigan, there goes Philadelphia, and then possibly there goes Illinois. So I think if Joe Biden continues to show himself to be ill, now again, of course, this is not a major health concern, but it is one that we shouldn't ignore because l l let's look at it like this. If Joe Biden was riding high, if, if, he, if he didn't make those gaffes, if he showed himself to be 100% healthy, still kicking, no gaffes, no mishaps, no nothing like that, this story could be easily overlooked, easily. But because of Joe Biden's history, very, very recent history of his gaffes and mishaps and crap like that, his health is going to be a major concern going into 2020. You see, 2016, Hillary Clinton's health was already questioned because of her coughing fits, her passing out and had to be thrown into the back of the van like a bag of potatoes, sunstrokes and stuff. I mean, she had serious health problems that people on the right and even some on the left, the news medias were even questioning about. Joe Biden seems just not to be healthy. And I'm sorry if you, you hear cars passing. I have the window open right now. It's a nice September night. It's cool. It's cloudy. It looks like rain. So yeah, I have my window open. I can't wait to have that. It smells like rain too. And you know the specific smell of rain. That's, that's what I'm smelling right now. But anyway, now I know Joe Biden had had or underwent surgery after he suffered two cranial aneurysms in 1988. So obviously Joe Biden has had health problems for more than two decades now. And now that he's much, much older, you know, 20 something years older now, all of this might be coming to bite him in the ass, essentially, especially Alzheimer's or dementia. Now I am no way making fun of his situation, you know, 
Alzheimer's, dementia, that's not something to be laughed at. And I honestly feel sorry for the DNC and feel sorry for Joe Biden because, the, the for first of all, the DNC, they are so extraordinarily desperate to find somebody that can go against Trump, that can debate Trump, that can challenge Trump in 2020. And their go-to guy was Joe Biden. And now it looks like they might not even have Joe Biden or he might be forced to drop out because of continuing or worsening behavior. On no fault of his own, if he has dementia or Alzheimer's, it's not, it's, it's, it's what's going on mentally in his head. He can't control that. You know, Joe Biden shouldn't be on the debate stage. He should be on some beach house with his family. Poor guy. I mean, Joe, Joe Biden is not fit or capable, both mentally and physically, to go on this general election. So it looks like Elizabeth Warren might have to take the reins and go, you know, after Trump and see how she's going to do it. But she, she's going to fail miserably. Like I had said before, Elizabeth Warren, she cannot handle pressure. And President Trump is going to apply a m massive amount of pressure on this woman. And she's up there in age either. I mean, you know, Trump's no spring chicken, but I think he's the youngest of Joe Biden and Elizabeth Warren. I think. Don't quote me on that. I think what Trump's 72, Joe Biden's 76. And I'm guessing maybe Elizabeth Warren is either 74 or she has to be between 68 and 74. So I'm just going to go out on a limb and say she's about 70 years old. But anyway, Joe Biden, he, he needs to drop out. Because if it's true that he has Alzheimer's or dementia, which I think is most likely, his condition is just going to rapidly get worse over time. And he's not going to last 15 months till, before the general election happens. And even if he stays in, he's going to lose because Joe Biden can't beat Trump. Elizabeth Warren can't beat Trump. The DNC has no candidates up there that can effectively challenge President Trump in 2020. They have none. The only one that I thought was actually going to give Trump some trouble was uh, Tulsi Gabbard because she was one of the most sane candidates up there. Now, Joe Biden is sane. He's not some far left or pretending to be far left like Elizabeth Warren is. But Tulsi Gabbard was also not pandering to the far left as much as Elizabeth Warren or any of the other bobos on stage and the DNC candidates. And even though Tulsi Gabbard was in fifth place, the DNC still booted her out and did not want her to, to, to debate, basically, because they knew that she was going to go right after Joe Biden at the top, basically. So they're like, nope, we can't have that. So they kicked Tulsi, Tulsi Gabbard to the, to the curb. Yeah, so, sorry, Paul. I know you guys had a fixation with her. Yeah, but no, Joe Biden has a serious questions, and a lot of people are actually pressing him to answer some of these questions about his health. And see, he's not even the nominee yet, and he's already being bombarded. And these are not right-wing people who are questioning him. These are people on the left, on the so-called Democratic side. These are people on Twitter who would say, you know, orange man bad. Even they are questioning Joe Biden's health at this point. And it's pretty obvious because they don't really want Joe Biden because he's not far left. That They want somebody like an Elizabeth Warren or Bernie Sanders to be the nominee. But Bernie Sanders is not going to be the nominee. If, if they nominate uh, Elizabeth Warren, she's going to get crushed. And actually, and, and actually, it would be better because both 2016 and 2020, Trump would have faced a two female candidates and he would have both won over them. So the feminist crowd on Twitter and, and stuff like that will go berserk. I think 2020 is going to be even crazier and ca more chaotic than 2016 was. Definitely, definitely, 100%. Especially if the DNC nominates somebody like a Elizabeth Warren to go against Trump in 2020. Because as of recently, and, and, and it's going to get worse, like I said, Joe Biden's health problems are going to be a major concern going into 2020. And he cannot avoid these questions. And he simply cannot avoid answering these questions like Hillary Clinton did in 2016. Hillary Clinton has a bunch more leverage that Joe Biden simply does not have. Number one, she was a woman and she was running on the break the glass ceiling platform. And number two, she was a media darling. If you have a, a sites like Washington Post and the Huffington Post already making articles slamming Joe Biden this early on in the campaign, then 15 months down the line, it's going to get worse. And also his behavior is also going to get worse as well. 
But yeah, no, Joe Biden should definitely drop out of the race by now before his behavior and condition gets worse. But either way, if you guys want to check out that article, it will be linked in the description box below. First link. Also follow me on Gab, BitChute, and DTube. Those links will also be in the description box below. And you guys go ahead and let me know what you thought about this video in the comments section. And that's about it for this one. Peace out, guys.